consider this video when you are an electronic hobbyist or a professional as a kind of infotainment and that's all. I made that Maxwell bridge to bridge uh, higher inductances say for instance this transformer or that one coil, that coil or uh, other coils with a kind of heavy core for instance here and wanted to measure them and wanted to use that Maxwell bridge and I made it it's now on the breadboard and here is the way that I made it uh, perhaps it's not very say uh, clear how that all works but anyway uh, here is the unknown coil and I've made here in this bridge here four potentiometers of 1k and also four relays to disconnect on the critical moment say when the coil has to be measured uh, the whole uh, circuit in this way that I disconnect <coughs> sorry the potentiometers so here I disconnect that with, with a relay and here and here and when all is disconnected uh, you can make electrodes out of these points from the circuit and I've made them here all the electrodes that are directly going to the resistors the potentiometers and um, here is a switch with which I can switch in this capacitor CV and I found in that book a kind of very strange situation uh, because they are talking in that book about this resistor and I've made that resistor here in that circuit but I've also made a switch here to bridge one of the uh, this resistor especially this resistor RX to the coil in the test and here is the coil in the test crocodile clips and here this is a simple say 5 volt transformer of which I want to um, uh, measure the inductance and I've done that also with this one etc anyway um, the circuit is here the relays are driven with this um, DC power supply 12 volt say 1 ampere the bridge is driven with AC here and you can see that this uh, red LED lights up perhaps you can see that and driven with here um, 25 volt AC so with this these four potentiometers I can bridge uh, the uh, coil under test the high inductance coil out and you can see that here try to do that of course now this, the position is active this position is not active all the relays uh, fall back but now all the relays make contact so uh, this is the position where we can try to null out that coil in the test with its high with its high inductance anyway try that now
I, you have to uh, say change four potentiometers here to null that out. So that's quite troublesome, but anyway, I change now one one of the four potentiometers. Another one here. And another one here. And of course the ideal position is where all the say the waveform 50 Hz disappears. And now the scope is by the way on its maximum amplification. So that's in my opinion a good a good way. Here we have almost a zero. So let's take this for granted. And after that, uh, move the switch to this position, all the relays uh, fall back. And now you can measure uh, the resistances. And the strange thing is that Rx uh, is not in the formula to calculate the inductance. So that's very strange in my opinion. And here I've made a switch with which you can set all the values of this capacitor CV. I want to demonstrate that. So I can check I can take for CV um, one nanofarad 10 nanofarad and of course when all the measurement is okay that's at least my opinion when I change that capacitor do the calculations the inductance of the coil under test must stay the same but that's a big problem here um, when you test a coil for instance with a 100 nanofarad capacitor or a 1 microfarad capacitor or a 5 microfarad capacitor you will see different inductance values. So that's very strange. So there are two problems here uh, at first. This uh, resistor is not defined and the second problem is that when you change that capacitor in the bridge you read uh, different values for the inductance of the coil under test. In my opinion a big problem. Anyway, uh, so it's only an experiment. I have to do more uh, better conclusive text, tests. Sorry. And uh, anyway, I did a lot of tests. Pen over somewhat for everyone interested. I do that very slowly. You can see how how easy or how difficult it is to null out the coil in the test. And you can also see here very strange results when measuring the same coils with different capacitors. So C, V, capacitor V, U in, Ameri in American, etc. So uh, these were the most recent measuring results this coil was measured here, was measured with a capacitor of 100 nanofarad and showed up 2.4 millihenry on the meter. This transformer was tested and was tested with, with three different capacitors, 
100 nanofarad, 5 microfarad and 10 nanofarad. And it showed here a 1.33 millihenry. Could be, anyway. Of course, uh, such a coil is, in my opinion, not in the millihenry range, but more in the henry range. So, one henry, perhaps two henry, anyway. Um, when uh, measured with a capacitor of 5 microfarad, non-polar, I suddenly measured 20.6 20 millihenry. And here we see a flaw in the computer program. Uh, I measured with a capacitor of 10 nanofarad. This value 0 0.05 millihenry at the same time 5.1 henry. So that's a flaw in my opinion. Uh, in the computer program that I've written in BASIC. So, uh, uh, let's take control break. Control break. Control break in a list. I put the camera down for a moment. Sorry for that. Uh, control break. This. So here is that computer program uh, written in BASIC and I've made uh, the calculation out of the book and here um, I've made a calculation inductance coil in millihenries that's E after calculation, of course. And here the coil in Henry's, and I've divided the value here by 1000. That seems to be okay in general, but uh, when I measured uh, the coil with a 10 nanofarad capacitor, this coil, with the 10 nano, nanofarad capacitor in the bridge, I had a very strange result. So that's not good, so I have to adapt, in my opinion, the computer program and also there's still the problem of um, the a certain resistor in the bridge that is not uh, seen in the formula. So, <coughs> this resistor is not seen in the formula. So, two problems. Uh, very strange results. I think that's due to my computer program. But on the other hand, on other on lower values, or sorry, on higher values of that uh, capacitor, the calculation program works okay. So uh, consider this as infotainment. Electronic infotainment. Uh, don't take it too serious. Only a first ID, say a second ID, to try to find out uh, to make a Maxwell bridge working on calculation of high inductance coils. This one is not a very high inductive coil, but anyway, it could be a transformer or a choke coil of 2 Henry or 10 Henry. So I'm very, very interested, interested how to um, measure them, find them out, 
with this uh, Maxwell bridge. That's in my opinion quite good optimized for this process. But it gives out at the moment very strange results uh, when we measure the inductance with different values of uh, capacitors. So I'm absolutely not sure whether this will work. It will work on the longer term. But of course I'm going to test it further and I hope to um, give, say, better results. And in the book of 1960, sorry, uh, 36, I, re I read that um, it's difficult to uh, set these four potentiometers to null out the unknown inductance and they are completely right. So in 1936 they knew uh, what they were talking about. At least this engineer of the radio uh, laboratory book. And they also advised to use for instance here wire wound potentiometers. And after all, I have to say, that's also a very good advice. Of course, this is experimental, it's hobby, etc, etc. But when you move the, say, all these knobs, many times the carbon layer inside of such a potentiometer can wear out. So, a lot more things to do. Uh, consider this, for instance, as a kind of uh, vlog with not too much conclusions.